Overcast skies in Charlotte, North Carolina for the final day of what has already been a wild week at Quail Hollow Club and the 14th President's Cup. We're just a couple of minutes away from the announcement of the first of 12 singles matches that will decide this latest edition. After three days of team sessions in the books, we await that incomparable scene at the first tee, 2,500 strong, 40,000 more strewn out about this golf course, anticipating what might happen today. Dan Hicks along with Paul Azinger and our entire NBC golf crew ready to bring it to you once again. Justin Thomas made his way out to the first tee. He's been out there for a few minutes. He woo Kim just a few moments ago joining him in the first of the 12 matches. Internationals won that final session yesterday, Zing 3-1 to give themselves some hope as we get you back out to the action at the fourth. And the birdie putt for Justin Thomas, chance to win the hole. Down the hill, got a lot of speed here. That's gonna keep working. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go, I guess. All right, this was the roar uh -oh. you just heard. No, he didn't do that. Well, remember I mentioned that Justin Thomas made it from almost in the exact same spot? So did Jordan Spieth. Went in the same exact way. <laughs> and Patrick Cantlay from 27 and a half feet. Adam Scott has already missed his birdie attempt. This to win the hole. Down the slope. Yeah. Right in the middle. Patrick Cantlay now birding the last two holes and takes a two up lead. Well, at the fifth, Matsuyama stuffed his second in there from a lot longer yardage, just 109, as Noda said earlier for Burns. Takes a carom and checks up. It looked like it might race across the green, but it had so much spin on it. And Sebastian Munoz. Quick, turning left. Yes! Talk about domination on a hole. The United States has now won this fourth hole 12 times this week. The internationals just once. And in today's matches, the U.S. has won the hole four or five times it's been played. Jordan Spieth for par. And you see Cam Davis's mark up there just ahead of him. So Davis in the driver's seat. Spieth going to make it. Oh, of course he is. <laughs> well. Maybe he never is in trouble. Second for Pendrith at this par three. Missed it short left and a little bit of trouble. No problem. Not anymore. Went on to win the hole. So Pendrith, who we mentioned, trying to get one of the Canadians a point here. Put on the board for the international side. Now back at 10. Siwoo Kim for birdie. Drops it in. The first three out. 11th match just out. Mito Pereira taking on Colin Morikawa. Second shot for the Colombian, or the Chilean, I should say. Mito Pereira, that's how he starts his Sunday. Tap in birdie, it'll be. This was Cam Young's birdie putt from some 48 feet, 8 inches, up the slope and down the hill. <laughs> into the bottom of the cup, and he would go on to win that hole against Sun J.M. The hill here, this just earlier from 144 yards. And you can tell the line was good, and so was the distance. Clearly the best approach shot we've seen here at nine. Just a yard closer. Say we go good, good, Paul. <laughs> I'll take a good, good there, Gary. And Hideki Matsuyama, who's got a two up lead on him. Well, he has a knack for making these long ones. He has this week. Another putt that's just blazing fast down the hill. Yeah, we're losing track of documenting all the lengthy putts, and you can add another one to Burns's list from 48 feet. He just blew the lid off this place. And over at the par five seventh, Shopley for birdie. Zender. Who laid up off the tee, spun his wedge back to here. This is for birdie and tie. And he gets it. Finally something good for the U.S. side here at the short par four. He was in danger going three down. And 
Corey Connors with his third here. Spun it off the green to the right with the second shot. And you know, Dan, when you're when you're just not putting very well, just go ahead and miss the green and chip it in. Munoz has never had the lead until now. That is three in a row for Munoz to erase a two-up lead for world number one. I haven't seen any bunker shots go in. Got a sneaky feeling about this one, Justin. Yeah, Sebastian Munoz won the last three holes. This is an easy bunker shot. Everything feeds down. And that's the roar that you heard. Sebastian Munoz winning four holes in a row. And now two up in this match. Long putt here going up the slope there and then down the back side of it. Gonna get there. Wow! I guess the hole wasn't over. Unbelievable. Boy, that's an amazing putt after losing three holes in a row. Forced to make it from 50 feet just off the ground. Speed has won the last two holes against Cam Davis. And they are just going in from all over the place for the Americans right now. Speed holding up his hand there to go three up, five to play. One down to his eight note. The Americans have made all the long putts. Oh, here's another one. And over here at 12, Dan, this is Sebastian Munoz. The downhill putt for birdie. Scotty Scheffler's about a foot and a half away for birdie. And how about Munoz? That's four birdies and an eagle in his last six. And, and he just concedes the short putt to Scotty Scheffler. Up the hill, a little right to left movement. And that'll do it. Just the sixth player to go 5-0-0 in a President's Cup. Light the candle! You know! Oh, this is a graph. Is it just right at it? Is it out? That's a message. And that's letting your clubs do the talking. Got a hook pretty hard to his left. Tough little putt here. Not his strength. If he can make this, he'll go crazy. Yeah. What a putt. And much like last night, a lot of the team is there. Trevor Immelman. What a battle. What a match. The real Kim. I was going to say the real Siwoo Kim showed up. This kid can be animated. We now know that. That's a massive win. <laughs> Final stages of this Sunday. This is Kim at 16. Yeah, Tom Kim with his third shot. This is the fairway to the right. Had to lay up. Max Holm has already hit the green in two and has an eagle putt. Tom Kim. Xander Shockley who delivers the last decisive point as the U.S. wins the President's Cup for the 12th time in 14 contests, it's ninth in a row. Seventeen and a half to twelve and a half is the final tally. Ladies and gentlemen, the winning United States team here at the 2022 President's Cup. Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. Watch another video right here.